marks the fourth presidential election in Afghanistan since the fall of Taliban in 2001. Both the government and international stakeholders tout the advances the country has made in the last two decades, particularly in terms of rights of women. And yet, a Gallup poll shows nearly half of Afghan women feel so dissatisfied with their lives, they would rather leave the country for good. Many of them are showing their frustration by deciding not to vote. In the last five years, the government didn't deliver anything worthwhile. Especially, they didn't do anything for women. The other candidates are also making empty promises. Nothing will change. After allegations of massive fraud in past elections, casting a ballot in Afghanistan now requires taking a picture and getting fingerprints of every voter. In parts of the country that are culturally conservative, activists worry election authorities have not done a good job of explaining that everything will be confidential. In this region, this is a sensitive issue, especially in our rural areas and our districts. It is very hard to convince women to vote if they have to have a picture taken. Due to this issue alone, many women will stay home. But more than three million women have registered to vote. Many of them, young and full of hope, want to take control of their own destiny. We will vote. We want to choose our own future. This is the responsibility of every Afghan. If we don't vote, we can't demand our rights from the next government. Candidates are trying hard to lure this group. The election is expected to be closed and three million is a big number. The importance of the female vote is evident from the fact that most presidential candidates are promising to protect women's rights. Whether the winning candidate keeps his promise is yet to be seen. Aisha Tanzim, VOA News, Kabul.